guys, today I want to do my upcoming favorite spring nail polishes. It's obviously not spring yet, but you know how I get. I really like when the seasons change, so I get really, really, really excited for the next season before it's even here, and then I get really depressed that it's not spring yet, and there's like snow on the ground right now, and I'm talking about spring. It's really depressing. So I wanted to show my spring nail polishes to try and pretend it's not winter. The ones I'm going to do are OPI, and the first one is Pink Friday, and I'll switch closer to the camera so you can see it. Ooh, I love up close and personal. So this is Pink Friday, and it is just a light pink. Everything's probably going to show up a little bit lighter on camera, but if you compare it to my walls, you can see it's pinker than my walls, and my walls are pale pink. So I really like this because it's just an opaque, creamy pink, and that's one of the colors I'm obsessed with right now. And then I picked this one, and it's called Vamsterdam, and these next couple are from the upcoming spring collection from OPI that I don't know if it's in stores yet, but I know it will be soon. And this is um, a dark, dark purple color, but if you can see how when the light hits it, there's that silver in there, and it actually is in there. I don't have any nail polish like that. It kind of looks like a, almost like a marbled effect within it, and it has like a silvery color throughout it, and I think that's really cool. And I love dark nail polish. I always go back to it no matter what. So, And then this one I love. It's Red Light to Headwear, also from the Spring Collection. It's showing up a little more red on camera. But it's almost like a neon, ruddy, um, orange color. Just, I love it. I think it'll definitely be cool to wear with um, just spring outfits because neon is going to be huge this spring. Neon and pastels, which are total opposites, but they're definitely still going to both be like huge in the spring and summer. And then this one I love. It's Did You Ear About Van Gogh, which is a hilarious name. And it's just this really light, creamy gray. But it's not a dark gray, it's a light gray. And it's just really opaque and creamy, so I really like that one. And then the last one is called Thanks a Wind Million. And they always have the best names. But um, it is another um, turquoise color that isn't, like if you compare it to like Mint Candy Apple by Essie, it has more of the darker gray hues in it than the lighter white hues in it. But I still really like this color and um, it would definitely be pretty on, it's just not as bright. And then the next ones are from China Glaze and this one is Refreshment. I've had this one since last summer and it's just that minty color that I'm obsessed with. This and Pale Pink are the two colors I will be wearing nonstop and of course black. But um, so I, lo <clears throat> I love this color but it's from China Glaze and then another dupe for it is the Mint Candy Apple. I can't decide which one I like more. This one, Mint Candy Apple has more blue in it and Refreshment has more green in it. So if that's how you want to tell them apart, that's how you tell them apart. Then this is called Lemon Fizz by um, China Glaze as well. And it's really, really creamy yellow. It's not like yellow. It's more of like yellow with a lot of white mixed into it to make it really opaque and creamy. And my friend had it on her nails and I was like, oh my god, like, what do you have on your nails? I'm obsessed with it because it looks so cool. And then the Peachy Cane by China Glaze is kind of the same thing. It's like a peach mixed in like with a little white to make it really opaque and creamy. And I really like this color too. And then last but not least are Essie's. And this one that I already showed you is Mint Candy Apple. And I think this one is my favorite for like the turquoise blue minty section. I think out of the three, this one's my favorite. And then Fiji, I also think is my favorite out of the pale pinks. This one's lighter, you can see, than Pink Friday. And I really like um, the lighter colors. And so this one's Fiji. And it's kind of like ballet slippers by Essie. But this one's more opaque. You only need two coats. And then last but not least is my favorite color, Coral. And it's called Cute as a Button by Essie. Haven't actually used it yet. So I don't know. I'm assuming it's very opaque just because that's how Essie mostly is. Unless you buy one of their like more neutral colors. Um, it's showing up more orange on camera. But it's a really, really pretty pink coral. And I love Coral Pale Pink and mint candy apple if you haven't noticed so those are my favorite spring nail polishes however i still have um room for some more options so leave your favorite nail polish for spring down below what you're most excited for and leave like a little like blurb if it's like oh it's kind of like um a light blue or something because when you say names and stuff it's kind of hard to like google every single nail polish name but yeah so hopefully spring comes around soon and i'll be doing a ton of more spring videos because i love spring and summer and i can't wait but yeah i'll talk to you guys later and i hope you have a good weekend bye